name is Jessica Kapitansky and I am the author of the book Create with Cork Fabric. In the book I teach you everything you need to know about sewing with cork on a domestic sewing machine and I've also included 17 projects including bags and home decor and accessories so that way you can jump right in, you can start making some projects out of cork fabric. So cork is really easy to sew with, it's becoming more common and right now there are a ton of different colors on the market. You can get prints, there are metallic corks. The cork that I always sew with is called Touch Pro Quality Cork and that just means the backing on the cork is a woven. So that's kind of, it's what we're used to sewing with, a woven fabric. You don't have to apply any interfacing to this. It's wonderful on its own. Um, so on this bag here, I used it on the flap. I made a tassel out of the cork and I just finished off the raw edges by having my lining fabric on the other side. You can use it to make handles and pockets on bags. It's great for just doing simple little accents like that. So when you're setting up your machine to work with cork, you can use a universal needle. You could also try using a Microtex needle if you would like. Most of the cork, you can just use your standard sewing foot on your machine, but if you're finding that it's sticking a little bit, then you can switch over to a Teflon foot. So once you have it in your project, you can just wipe it clean. It's very low maintenance and easy to use. Another thing that I like about sewing with cork fabric is you can leave the edges raw. You don't have to worry about finishing off the edges. On the bags that I've made, sometimes I finish off the edge and other times I, I leave it raw. You don't have to worry about it fraying at all. If you want a little bit more of a finished look, you could paint the edges or use a seam sealant, but that's not necessary on the cork. The cork is as thin as tissue paper and it is adhered to the fabric backing. So um, either way that you put it, you don't have to worry about which direction your cork is facing. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out my book, Create with Cork Fabric at your local quilt shop. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see what you create with cork.